Hello everyone! A lot of people believe that street performers are basically beggars. Some people ask questions like, why are they so lazy? Can't they find a decent job? Why are they just standing on the streets? Can't they dedicate their lives to something serious? However, being a street performer is no less difficult than any other job. To perform in public, you need more than talent. You need confidence. And you have to rehearse a lot. For hours, days, and weeks, there aren't that many real professionals in this field. But for today's video, we've found the creme de la creme. These are the best street performers in the world. Let's get it on. Half genie, half human. He came out from his magic lamp and now he's floating above the ground and having a friendly chat with the people around him. Sounds like a dream come true for everyone who watched Aladdin. However, this is just one of the characters created by a group of street artists known as Mattaccioni Volanti. Back in 2011, two brothers decided to build a flying character and perform in a park. They were just fooling around, but the audience loved the show so much that the brothers knew they'd found their vocation. During the next few months, they were invited to participate in the most important Italian street art festivals, and then they began to travel around the world. But what is the secret of Mattaccioni Volanti? They make their characters levitate above the ground, and none of the viewers can understand exactly how it works. Who are they? Scammers? Fraudsters? No, just street performers who want to surprise everyone. And they keep doing it year after year. Some street performers like to communicate with the public, while others try to stay still. The latter are known as human statues. You've probably seen them on the streets of different cities. Usually, these men and women cover themselves with a thick layer of gold or silver paint to look like statues. But you don't actually need paint if you can do this. Unfortunately, we don't know the name of this street artist. Internet users call him Rushing Man, and he is incredible. Most likely, it takes the man more than an hour to get ready for the performance, and it's probably not very good for his hair. But what can you do? Working as a human statue is pretty challenging. Would you be able to stand still for so long, waiting for someone to throw you a bill? The weirder your ideas, the more chances you have of attracting the crowd's attention during a street performance. Fortunately, Ed China here is full of ideas. This English TV presenter and mechanic is known from numerous TV shows, and he also has several records in the Guinness Book, but you'll never guess what kind of records they actually are. These include, for example, riding the fastest bed, and the fastest garden shed, and even the fastest shopping trolley, and the fastest toilet. Basically, Ed's passion is putting engines in weird places. Now, Ed has his own show on YouTube and a book. It all began in 1998, when he set the record for driving the fastest sofa at 140 km per hour. The record was broken then by Ed himself a decade later, and the speedy sofa was turned into a vehicle to drive around the city. Yes, this sofa with four wheels and a tray for snacks instead of a steering wheel is actually suitable for driving. It even has a seat belt, a rear view mirror, and a license plate. So it's real. Can you imagine people's shock when he's driving his favorite couch around town? Street performers who've chosen to work as human statues are not extroverts, mainly because they, well, you know, they don't speak. Statues don't tend to be very talkative, but we still manage to find out who's hiding under the cracked makeup of this man with glasses, who looks like a real-life comic book character, probably from something like Sin City. This guy, who looks like a typical British guy, is Estevan Mortensen. He's from Quito in Ecuador. He speaks Spanish, and he's lived in Bath in the UK for many years. Estevan Man's stage name is Tibirin. Strange as it may seem, even living statues have pseudonyms. They also have Instagram profiles where they post new pictures. Go 
Did you dream of being a Transformer when you were little? Surely many people thought about it, but usually they were just fantasies. After all, a person can't just become an Autobot. They're not actually real. My father, while he was a wheel, the first wheel, do you know what he transformed into? No. Nothing! Well, tell that to this street artist named Jocelyn Page. She revolutionized the whole street performance scene of New Orleans, appearing in a bumblebee costume for the first time. It wasn't just a pile of cardboard or yellow plastic with a bunch of LEDs, as you might think. It took Jocelyn $800 and five weeks to make the Transformer, a real one. Well, maybe a little smaller than the ones you've seen in the Michael Bay films, but who cares? After all, this bumblebee can ride like a real car using wheels and then turn into an Autobot, and all this without CGI. <laughs> Must have been a tedious job, but the excitement of the public is definitely worth all this. Dan Menendez, also known as the Piano Juggler, has delighted audiences around the world with his talent. Menendez doesn't just throw balls from hand to hand. After all, many of our viewers can probably juggle as well. And that's why Dan took it a step further. He developed a special technique that allows him to use juggling to play music on a synthesizer. Anything from Beethoven to contemporary songs. Dan started juggling at the age of 11, and since then he's seriously boosted his skills. He even refused to work in his field of study to become a real juggling guru, and he succeeded. Menendez took part in various juggling competitions. Yep, don't be surprised, that is a thing. And of course, he won. Today, he performs in theatres, cruise ships, clubs, and anywhere else you invite him. You can book him through his website to any party and see how this street wizard creates his unusual magic with your own eyes. The world is full of brilliant soccer players. Most often, new talents end up in a cool club like Barcelona, Real Madrid, or PSG, and show off their skills on the field. That could have been the career of Guinean soccer player Ia Traore. Back when he started, he was a goalkeeper in his small village, but his talent was way too big to stay in Guinea. In 2000, Ia arrived in Paris, where he played for local football clubs, including PSG, of course. Perhaps the guy would have had a brilliant career and various professional awards, but he suddenly decided to quit football. Yeah, you heard right. Ia Traore could have made a brilliant career as a footballer at PSG. His skills amazed everyone, but the guy chose what he liked, street freestyle. Now Traore entertains people in Paris, showing his unique talent. As you've already understood, the performances take place in the street, so passers-by and tourists usually take Traore for an ordinary street artist. They can't even imagine that they're looking at a three-time Guinness Book record Older. Of course, Ia is invited to various shows and he's happy to attend. In his spare time, he can be found on Montmartre Hill, next to the Sacre Coeur Basilica in Paris. That's where Ia likes to show off his incredible tricks. When someone says that you can use dishware as a musical instrument, you usually imagine the clatter of plates or pots when you cook, something a bit chaotic. But if you visit Prague and walk down one of the central streets at the right time, you can meet Pitta Spatina. Oh, you will instantly recognize him as well, because of his unique instrument, a glass harp made of 33 glasses. Each of the glasses is filled with a certain amount of water to produce a certain note. All you have to do is touch them with wet fingers fingers, and the glass harp will sound. Of course, Spatina wasn't the first person to think of that, but hardly anyone else managed to assemble a fully-fledged musical instrument using glasses, an instrument that sounds like an angel's choir. 
Meanwhile, there's nothing really special about Spatina. He was born into a farmer's family and first learned to play the accordion and piano. He played them until he found his instrument, the glass harp, which he's been playing for over 20 years. Over time, Peter became a celebrity, and you can find tons of videos of his open-air performances. If you think that Sauron is the Lord of the Rings, it's probably because you haven't seen what this street artist from Taiwan, Isaac Howe, can do. This American citizen of Taiwanese origin travels the world, delighting the public wherever he performs. In fact, Isaac Howe never wanted to be a street artist or an artist at all. But at the age of 18, he decided to travel the world and came across a video of the sire wheel. It fascinated him, so he wanted to master this skill. The sire wheel is a metal ring big enough to fit an adult inside. The wheel can turn when the person is inside, which makes it ideal for performing various tricks. This may seem simple, but it turns out to be much more complicated. It took Howe several years to reach perfection before he dared to to perform in public. His first training sessions took place on a slippery concrete floor, and it was pure madness. But that's how the Lord of the Rings started his journey. How sincerely believe that's how everybody learns this? Well, perhaps it was thanks to these difficulties that the guy managed to become such a brilliant artist. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great. 